This is Hibikster signing in for snkcapcom.com, and here with me is NYC Fab. Hey, what's up? Uh, th NYC Fab, thank you very much for being with us today. I've uh, got a couple of questions for you here. Uh, how are you liking your stay so far here in Toronto? Is this your first time here? Oh, yeah, it's my first time in Toronto, man. I always wanted to come, but uh, my job schedule sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I was lucky just to be able to come here for two days. But uh, I'm enjoying myself. I had poutine. Finally, it was pretty good. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's, that's usually like number one priority on oh, people's yeah, lists. Um, that's good. And uh, how are you enjoying the tournament so far? Uh, it was a good tournament. I like how it was run. You know, it was run pretty clean. Mm -hmm. uh, the people out here are real nice. You know, people were cool out here. So it was just fun. Excellent. I enjoyed it. So you specialize in Tekken. Yeah. Um, how are you finding Canadian competition in Tekken here at the tournament? Uh, they're pretty decent. You know, they're pretty decent. They know they know what they're doing. Uh, they just had to work on some things. But I know, like, the scene out here is dying pretty much like everywhere else right now. Because, you know, T6 is kind of old now. You know, everybody's waiting for tag. But uh, everybody's pretty pretty decent, you know? Do you think when tag 2 comes out, the scene will pick up again? Oh, yeah, definitely. I definitely think it's going to pick up. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, and what other, what other games do you specialize in? Uh, right now, Marvel. Uh, I got ninth in Marvel. I believe I got knife. I think I lost my qualifying match, mm. but that game's too crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, any, anything can happen in the X Factor, especially. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, that it's game's pretty too insane. Nuts, man. I try it. <laughs> it's all good, man. So, how long have you been playing for? Like, when did you start playing, and when did you take it to a competitive level? Uh, I actually started playing when DOA, DOA 2 came out for the first Xbox. That's like one of the first online fighters. I think that's pretty much why like a lot of people got into it. Mm. And uh, that was like my first game. I was probably like, what, maybe 14, 15 around there. Right. Started playing that for a while, and then I started hearing about tournaments and the forums. I checked the forums. I was like, all right, maybe I'll show up to some tournaments. Then ever since then, I just started playing games competitively. But DOA was my first game, and then Tekken. Nice. So you just started taking it to competitive level. Uh, what made you specialize, like say, in, in, in Tekken over DOA? Well, obviously maybe the scene was a bit bigger, but yeah, the scene was bigger. Uh, it's a better game, also a better game, and uh, I, I enjoyed the scene a lot more. You know, and I felt like Tekken was a challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was going to be something that uh, would be hard, to, hard to be good at. And I, I like the game. And um, you know, people said, "Oh, DOA players wouldn't be good at Tekken." Also, so so, right. so you just wanted to break that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Break that mantra. <laughs> um, any other fighting games that you play that you've dabbled with? Uh, I like all. I pretty much like all fighting games, but I'm not good at all of them. So, right. You know, I, I used to like uh, back in the day. I used to like CBS two and stuff, but mm -hmm. I suck, man. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on that similar note, uh, for SNK, King of Fighters thirteen. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a lot of good press going around about it when yeah, the console version been. comes out. Is it something that you may consider looking into? Yeah, I definitely consider looking into it. I actually like it. You know, on a fun level, I don't know how to really play it competitively, but mm -hmm. on a fun level, I like the game. Is there is there a scene for the arcade and uh, where you play? Or? Um, that's very small, yeah. very small scene. But Hopefully, when the uh, we're hoping when the console version comes mm -hmm. out, and assuming that it has good online play, it'll start garnering more attention. You know attention. what? That's that's the issue. It seems like that's the issue nowadays. Is the online play, man? I think that plays a big part of why Street Fighter is so popular. Also, because the online is so good. You right. Can, you don't have to travel. You know, go out your way to, to play good people. You know, online right. is decent enough to get good. That's right. That's right. You know. um, so, any uh, shout outs, thoughts before we wrap up this interview? Shout outs? Uh, pretty much shout outs to Canada. You know, I had a good time here. Everybody was cool to me. Excellent. You know, shout outs to Spooky for the streaming. Uh, shout outs to Bum House. You know, that's uh, we stream Marvel. You know, so shout outs to Bum's House. Uh, Bum, uh, Smooth Viper. Chris Matrix, Ray Ray, Alucard, all these guys, you know, Noel Brown. Uh, just shout out to NY in general. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much. Uh, it's definitely a pleasure having you here in Toronto. We'd love to have you for future events. Um, be great. Uh, thank you again for giving me this opportunity to have this interview with you. Oh, no, no doubt. Thanks for having me, man. Excellent. Thank you. This is Hibbixter signing off for SNKCalcom.com.